Okay, good morning and welcome to Ian Talina on Simon Kofi Ches, Hasimus Birchas Hashivenu. There's one halacha over here, halacha which is relevant about 12 days ago. Then I to make tshuva. You're supposed to change the end of the bracha, Hashivenu, it's from Melech Hashivenu to Mishpat. To Melech Hashivenu. The Ramama says, nonetheless, if you said Melech Hashivenu to Mishpat during Hashivenu to Mishpat, you don't have to go back because. You said the word Hamelech. The Ramas says if you would say Hakel Ois Dago Mishpat, some places had the minute to finish the bracha that way. You left that Melech, then you have to go back because you're leaving out the Malchus. But when you say Melech Ois Dago Mishpat, you don't have to go back. Now there is still a discussion because the Gemara seems to imply that you do have to go back, um, even if you'd say Melech Ois Dago Mishpat. There are certain poskim that do say that. So what is Machlokis based upon? So, I mean, and secondly, what is this bracha talking about? Shiva Shoftei Gurishna Vesin Gvatila Vesar Minim Gomenacha. We're asking for mishpat. We don't want mishpat. Mishpat, we say for the Amno Rayim. It's, it's hard to be judged all the time. What are we asking for? So, Melech HaYistak on mishpat. I think what we're asking for in the bracha of Hashivenu, Shavtenu Krishna, Yotenu Gvatkila. I think what we're asking for is that Melech HaYistak on mishpat, in a certain sense, what does the word stuck on? I mean, mishpat we know is judgment. What does stuck on mean? Stuck as a mitzvah to give stuck is the word sadik. To be a tzaddik, what is a tzaddik? Yeah, you know, so there's, a, there's an expression in, in Hebrew. It's called a tzaddik. You're you're right. Tzaddik really comes from to be right, right? Tzaddikim are always right. They always make the right decisions, or at least they think they may always make the right decisions. Uh, we'll talk about tzaddikim a different time, but that's where the the word tzaddik comes from to do what's right. So melachay is on mishpat. It's basically a bracha that we're asking for Hashem's help. We want help. We want good advisors. You don't need Das Torah. You need people like me who are going to give you good advice, even though I will not give you advice if you ask for me, because I am not a rabbi, and I do not, I do not want to waste my time. But hopefully there are people that are skilled to give good advice to people. It doesn't necessarily have to be a big rabbi. I think other professionals are capable of giving good advice, although I think the best advice should be from you. But <clears throat> sometimes you need to ask advice. You don't have enough knowledge in the situation. So we ask Hashem, Staka o Mishpa, that not only that we should make the right decisions, Staka, that you have to make decisions in life. We should make the right decision. Um, mishpat. And then after we make decisions, we have a cheshvah and nefesh at the end of the day. We'll analyze, do a mishpat, our own mishpat. Not talking about Hashem's doing mishpat with us. We're not asking Hashem to judge us all year. We're asking, Hashem loves the fact that we make the right decisions, try to make the right decisions, and at the end of the day, we analyze and see, maybe we didn't make the right decision, and do tshuva if we didn't make the right decision. During the series to make tshuva, we say Hamelacha Mishpah. So Hamelacha Mishpah is different because basically we're asking Hashem to judge us. That's what we're asking. Hamelacha Mishpah. But I think based on the halacha, the halacha is that really Hamelacha Mishpah is the same thing as Melacha Hevstaka uh, Mishpah. Because really at the judgment that Hashem does during on Rosh Hashanah and during Rosh Hashanah and and finalizing the Chasim on Yom Kippur, Hamelacha Mishpah, that is the judgment. The judgment is we're asking Him, that's really the only thing that matters, as I have said many times in life, that the only thing we're judged on. The only thing we're in control of is our decision making. So Amalek HaMishpah doesn't mean that we're asking Hashem to judge us. We're asking Hashem to help us with Mishpah, right? Amalek HaMishpah, right? We shorten it. We don't say Amalek HaOhev Sadaqa on Mishpah because during the year, right, we say it in a less, you know, serious manner because you can't always be serious all the time. He loves, right? We try to say it in a nice way. He loves. You have to do it. I mean, you have to, you're obligated by your conscience to do Cheshbon and Nefesh and to make the right decisions. We say in a more general term, no, not to, we shouldn't be so serious, sad all the time. Um, so I'm going to say, Melech Leif, Hashem loves it, we have to do it. But during the service of Meshuvah, we're in a more serious manner. We, we're cognizant of that Hashem is judging us. So then we say a shortened version, Melech HaMishpah, Hashem is the king. Not that he judges us, Melech HaMishpah is the king who looks about our judgment. He's worried about our judgment, which is really what he's judging us on. He's judging us on our ability to use our own judgment, to make decisions and if we made decisions that are wrong, to hopefully look into them and find ways to fix them and do tshuva, which is what the Asherah made tshuva is all about. Hope you enjoyed today's share. See you in the next one.